again the most common thing which was used in earlier time to know the patient is awake or not is the glasgow coma scale here they look at three things eye opening response verbal response and the motor response the best possible score is around 15 and the worst possible score is 3 and if the patient is intubated t is added to the scoring and the best possible score when intubated is 10 t and the worst possible score is 2 t coming to aldrich score here this is used for patient recovering from anesthesia they look at activity respiration circulation consciousness and the oxygen saturation activity level if the patient moves all the extremities voluntary or command its score is 2 moves only two extremities it is 1 cannot move extremities it is 0 next coming to respiration the patient breathes deeply and coughs freely the score is 2 dyspneic with shallow limited breathing it is 1 apneic it is 0 circulation the pressure is 20 millimeter of mercury greater than the pre anesthetic level it is 2 it is between 20 to 50 greater than the pre anesthetic level it is 1 if the pressure is greater than 50 millimeter of mercury then the pre anesthetic level then the score is 0 coming to consciousness fully awake is 2 arousable and calling is 1 and not responding it is 0 oxygen saturation the saturation is greater than 90 while breathing room air it is 2 supplemental oxygen to maintain the saturation above 90 is 1 and saturation less than 90 with supplemental oxygen it is 0 and the patient can be discharged from the post anesthetic care unit if the score is greater than 9. Now coming to post operative quality recovery scale it looks on the emotional aspect physical psychological as well as social and habitual pattern it looks at six domains support independence symptom function cognition and daily activity this six domain is tracked from immediate to long term period in patients of different age language and culture complete physiological recovery takes place by 40 minutes and 40 percent of the patient and the functional quality of recovery in all domains occurs only in 11 percent even at the end of day 3. Coming to the most commonly used post anesthetic discharge scoring system. Here you look at the patient vital sign, activity, nausea, vomiting, pain and the surgical bleeding. The score is 2 when the vital signs are within 20% of the preoperative baseline. The patient is steady and there is no dizziness. The patient nausea vomiting is minimal and can be treated with peroral medication and the pain is acceptable and can be controlled with peroral medication and the surgical bleeding is minimal though dressing change is required. This all parameters have a score of 2. The score is 1 when the vital sign is 20 to 40 percent of the preoperative baseline. Activity requires assistance and the nausea vomiting is moderate which requires treatment with intramuscular medication. Plain is not controlled with peroral medication and it is not acceptable to the patient and the surgical bleeding is moderate up to two dressing changes required. And the score is zero when the vital sign is greater than 40 percent of the preoperative value, unable to amplant and nausea, vomiting and pain requires continuous repeated treatment and the bleeding is severe and requires more than three dressing changes. Coming to the 